Good morning, everyone. We are on our way to the West Island because I have my first swim meet today in about three years, so that should be a lot of fun. After that, we're just gonna go for dinner with my mom and possibly some of Ashley's family later. All right, catch you later. Alrighty, so the meat went really well. We're gonna go into more detail a bit later. But right now we are going to a restaurant on the West Island called Bateau Rouge. Well, it's fairly popular in Montreal and Quebec. And here it is. All right, so Bateau Rouge had a 45 minute wait, so we are going to Casa Grec instead. It's just next door. So my mother and I got a, a share platter, which has steak, potatoes, shrimp, chicken. I already ate my chicken, so we don't see it. Ashley has the salmon. Yeah. With rice, carrots, and potato. Alrighty, so we are on our way home. We just came back from dinner with my mother, and that was a lot of fun. The meet ended up going really well. I think I'm gonna talk about that when we're in a quieter place. Okay, so it's time for where's Dusty? Where do you think he's gonna be? He's definitely at the door. Yep, he's at the door. We didn't feed him before leaving, so that's where he's gonna be. Let's see. Hey, Dust. Hi. So we're back home now, enjoying a nice hot chocolate while watching Bad Boys, the original. I've never seen it before. It's got Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. Ashley's a big Will Smith fan, so we're gonna watch that. And um, just a little recap of the meet. It went much better than anticipated, considering I did not swim for the whole month of December, essentially. <laughs> Heading into our training camp. Um, <laughs> Your six day training camp. Yeah, six day training camp where I trained six times. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so pretty impressive. Yeah, pretty impressive. Almost the best time in the 50 free, which is I don't know how that happened. A uh, very good time in the 50 fly, uh, 26.0. A okay time in the 50 back, 29.0. The only reason why I'm not super happy with it is that during my kick out, which was like the you guys will see, but during the underwater part after the start, I actually hit the bottom of the pool, both of my shoulders and my feet, so that completely killed any momentum I had 
going in that 25, but then I made up for it in the second half. That could easily be a 28 something, you know, 28 five maybe. Uh, and 53 24 seven, which by no, by no means is it a, like a blistering time. But for me, it's good because I was never really a sprinter to begin with. My best is a 24 six zero. And so that's very close to my best time. Overall, very surprising considering how little I trained to be honest. I don't think I trained more than three times a week. For that to, to happen was, it was surprising, but at the same time motivating, because it just shows, you know, if I could just work out a, a little bit more and swim a little bit more, who knows, you know, maybe I could actually get a best time. Hopefully some, some longer races next time. Yeah, too. maybe, yeah. I only did 50s. Meanwhile, there's this 86 year old woman who swam like six events today, including the 400 free at 86. Listen, she wasn't fast, but it was, it's, she it finished made, everything. Yeah, she finished everything. She wouldn't she wouldn't start from the starting block. She would stand beside it and then dive in because I think it was just like too high of a of a dive for her. So that was that was funny, but uh she showed more guts than I did today. So props to her. <laughs> yeah, other than that, um uh, Cliff Berry swam. Yeah, that Cliff Berry. So for anybody that doesn't know, Cliff Berry was a former coach at Point Claire and he was Victor Davis's coach. Victor Davis, the late uh, Olympic champion in the 200 breaststroke and the 100 as well, no? I'm not sure. At the 88, no, 84 Olympics. LA. Okay. The LA Olympics, I think that's 84, I may be wrong. And yeah, so Cliff Berry was there, that was really cool. A few guys that I grew up idolizing uh, were there too, so that was fun. Fun to see them, that they're still kicking it and swimming. And who are they? Um, Phil Pumeville uh, being one of them, and uh, Mac Vionkul being the other. That was cool that they were there. I didn't get to talk to them actually, but still nice to see that they were still swimming. And swimming fast. And swimming fast, yeah. Mm -hmm. I got to introduce her to all the all the guys in the club and they were super excited to meet her because <laughs> that heard a bunch about her and they actually some of them even knew a lot about Ashley particular brush choker he knows like he knows a lot about Ashley but he wouldn't <laughs> he wouldn't say it he's too he's too proud to say that they're a fun group yeah yeah, yeah they were super they're super nice yeah they're super nice super fun to train with them just because they're they're super open and happy to be who they are and stuff so it's a great environment and I'm looking forward to training more I guess I should train more if I want to go faster so <laughs> Uh, that's that. So we're gonna start the movie now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll catch you in the next one Later. Ashley's back home. Yay. She's all nice and tanned. <laughs> it was very very cold once she got home She immediately regretted coming home <laughs> No, I, I'm happy to be home. 